I was a professor. I was a full-time faculty member as a business professor, taught marketing and management. And what I saw with my students, um, you know, all students, they were struggling in some capacity, right, in that first year. And so I wanted to do more and look at evidence-based practices to help students get through that adjustment faster. <laughs> And, and so that's what drew me to the research and really looking at what are evidence-based practices to help students thrive. So in my work with students and also in my research, um, I learned that when students um, step foot on a college campus, they're asking a few questions. The first one is, am I cared for? And every single person on this campus every single touch point we need to express care and so what does that look like for me as a faculty member that means i greet every student by their desired name number one it, that expresses care right and so as a professor that meant i had to work really hard to memorize all my students names that first week and i told them i'm quizzing you on the material you're quizzing me on your name yeah and so but do people care about me here they're asking that even when they go pick up their student id they're asking that when they get their parking permit they're asking that when they sit down for enrollment and advising they're asking that when they go sit in a professor's class am i cared for now, as a professor, I will say sometimes to express care, it meant telling a student, I care about you and the behaviors that you're exhibiting in my class are going to get, away, get in the way of your goals. You need to grow up and work harder. And I'm entering this hard conversation with you because I care about you. But it also means if a student wasn't showing up to class, if they missed two classes, I would reach out to that student. On a scale from one to 10, how's life going? Because I see that you haven't been in class lately and I'm worried something's happening. That expresses care. And we have to go out of our way to express care. Because if students don't feel cared for, they won't join our community. And this is a community. It's like going to another country, really, another culture another way of doing things. The second question students are asking from the research and from my experience is, do I belong here? And if they don't feel cared for, they don't feel like they belong. Another thing that I think is happening at the University of Tulsa is the imposter syndrome. So when we look at the research, especially gifted college students, and especially women, um, feel like imposters. And so I remember sitting in the college classroom thinking, I'm not smart enough. I'm not as smart as these other students who are getting like these Fulbright awards, which are great, great. I'm not like them. I've just duped everyone. Every award I got, I thought I've just duped everybody. And at some point they're going to find me out. And what I want to tell students is you aren't an imposter. Learning is scary. You are going to make mistakes and to overcome this narrative that's not true. You aren't an imposter. You've got to lean into the hard. You've got to lean into the discomfort of statistics and be like, I don't know. And it's not because you're an imposter. It's because learning's hard. But if we don't help students understand this concept of the imposter syndrome, they never can feel like they belong here, right? Because if you're sitting in the classroom feeling like an imposter, that question, do I belong here? You can't answer that. And every student belongs here. They got in and we need to help them get through to that imagined future and tell them that voice in your head that says you don't belong here, that you've duped everyone, it's not true. 